Come over here and tell you that I'm not okay. And I'm too afraid to come over here and tell you that I need help. And I'm too afraid to come here and tell you that I'm depressed. <coughs> but none of that would matter anyway, because you wouldn't understand. How could you? You don't know what it's like to have voices in your head tell you that you'll never be enough. You don't know what it's like to feel like your only purpose in the world is to live and suffer every single day of it. You don't know what it's like to lose joy in all the things that you used to love to do. You don't know what it's like to feel like your parents wish that you were somebody completely different. You don't know what it's like to feel so little all damn time. You don't know what it's like to feel so alone that even when you're surrounded, you have nobody that you can turn to. You don't know what it's like to hide every day. To hide. Why would you hide? Because it's safe. Because it's sound. Because nobody except me 
the person who really understands is here. There's nobody to judge me. There's nobody to see me vulnerable. There's nobody to ask me any questions. I couldn't let them know anyway. I don't want to lose them. I don't want them to see me differently just because they know more about me. I don't want to be their burden. I just want everything to stay the way it is because then at least I know that they don't have to suffer with me. Because then at least I know that they'll first time I cut myself, I was 14, or not 15. I was lost, I was alone, and I was scared. I was scared that the world didn't care. That if I had disappeared the next day, no one would ask where I went or why. Who would care? After all our lives, our collection, and all the things that we achieve, but like collections, we're the only ones that really care about it. And yet we live and die by our collections, trying to add as much as we can to it before we're gone. But when we die, how can our collection live? Eventually, it dies too, along with who we were in this world and what we meant to it. My parents used to always tell me that I could change the world. That I could leave my mark on it. But over time, I began to see these words as hollow words, ones that they told me to make me believe that I was something and really I was nothing. After all, we are nothing. Our lives surmount to nothing. So what then is the point of living? When all anyone's ever going to do is die in the end and be forgotten. only reason that I can stand before you today is because I'm too afraid to hurt those around me. I know that they care about me, even though it's an idea that I falsify time and time again. I know it's ridiculous. The thought of taking your own life, what would it do to the people around me? To the people that I live I was aware of what I was feeling, and I knew that it was absurd, and yet I let it consume me. Not because I didn't want to be better, but because the status is a part of who I am. It's one of my cornerstones. I got a knife, and I cut my left arm. It was pain, but it was pain to distract me from the sadness. It cut me loose from my cornerstone, if only for a moment, but in that moment, it became my failsafe. It was where I went to when life just wasn't enough. I went on to injure myself multiple more times, each episode happening after an incident too large for crying to heal. But after one of them, I made one of the best decisions of my young adult life. I talked about it. I told two of my best friends that I wasn't okay. And I showed them my left arm. One of them told me that they would always be there for me. And the other told me I was crazy. Honest. Don't get me wrong, I still love them both dearly, but it showed me something. It showed me that they didn't understand. Even when I tried to explain to them my rationale, my perspective, they didn't understand. They thought that it was crazy, and by extent, they thought that I was crazy. But this realization dragged me down and said it drove me. It gave me a new perspective on this sucky thing we call life. 
Lord, still go for it? Of course I will. Will I still put on a fake persona? Of course I will. But at least now I'm finding a purpose. To talk. To talk? But you talk every day. People ask you how you're doing every day. Yeah, they do. But every single day I would re reply, but I'm good. I'm great. I'm fantastic. I'm wonderful. I'm just fine. If I had a penny for every time one of those phrases came out of my mouth, I'd be a millionaire. But it's sad. It's sad because I train myself to respond with one of these phrases because I'm too afraid to have a conversation. I'm too afraid to open up and really, really talk. But that's why I'm going to talk. Because I know that others struggle too. I know that they're scared just like I am. So I'm going to tell my story in hopes that they can tell me theirs. And I hope everyone can do the same. As a society, we naturally take the easy way out. And I'm not just talking about spot notes. <laughs> <laughs> and things get too complex, too difficult to understand. We give up and move on. But when you give up, you move on from those that can't just give up. You leave them to fend for themselves against an army of voices in their head that'll tear them piece by piece, telling them that they'll never be enough. All because you don't take the time to understand and to help. But I get it. No, really, I understand. I understand that you probably couldn't we do think in ways that are so complex, so difficult to understand that sometimes I get lost in myself. I know that there is no couch chat to solve all our problems in life. All I ask is that we try. We try to understand who we are, take a walk on the hidden side of our lives, see the world through our lens. You tell me that life is worth living, well then tell me why. Make us believe that we're not alone. Make us believe that you care. And then we can have a conversation. More than just, I'll always be there for you. And I'm just fine. And from there, together, we can fight the sad little thing that we call.